Hello everyone, my name is Sarah and you are watching Kakokoto, where today I'm going to show you what I've got in my drawer pouch Ane, which is the medium sized drawer pouch by Hobonichi. There's a bit of a glare from the window that I can't get rid of right now and a huge fly bugging me, <laughs> which you can probably hear, but we're going to make this video right now. Um, to be honest with you, I was really struggling with how to use this pouch at first because I thought it was too uh, small, no, not too small, too thin to really pack it full of stuff. And then my second thought was that maybe I could just use it as a travel pouch but then again we don't do much traveling on a large scale anyway so I'd rather use this right now than wait for it like wait for a chance to come around in the end I started using it for like thin stationary products as you can see on this outside pocket I've got the Choi Plus in here, like the three different patterns that I have. The first is, I think this is the very first one that I got. Then there's this blue one, which has these binder clips. And the limited edition one with the animals. They all stay on the outside of this pouch. And then in the first place I started arranging stuff in here willy-nilly, <laughs> just putting everything in. Uh, let's start on this side because this side I think is not as full. This is an envelope that I received like in a junk mail set, not junk mail, um, a junk journal set. And I stuffed it full with, oops, sorry little bear, I stuffed it full with um, stickers from AliExpress. These are stickers from three different sets that you can get on AliExpress. And I put one of each inside of this envelope and it stays open in the back part of my drawer pouch. There is nothing inside these card slots, but then I have these, I guess you can call them journaling cards, they have quotes on them, got them in a local stationery store. This is part of the packaging when I bought the Yohaku tapes. She included a little glycine envelope with the receipt on it. And I've been saving this for journaling. And then I have this Carnet Perpetuel by Sum Kin. I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly. <laughs> I had French in high school, but that's uh, quite a while away <laughs> and this is their universal planner I saw this when we were in Paris it was on sale um, and I really liked it you can use it three different ways you can do a weekly view a like a vertical view and the horizontal view but also daily pages and the inside looks like this. The pages are numbered and you've got space like two, four, six, eight spaces at the top and seven spaces at each of the sides. So you can connect these to have a full page horizontal layout or you can draw lines down here to have eight columns 
So one more column for notes. And as I said before, all the pages are numbered and in this grid, they call it the universal planner. And this was on sale because they gave up on this size, which I'm really sad about. Um, when I last checked the homepage, I made a huge purchase of um, three more of these because I like them so much. I think I have not said this. Each, um, each, each of these universal planners is 48 pages with really nice paper. Uh, in this middle section, there's only my Arial Green Sadasa clip. And this is the one that smells which is why it is in this zipper pouch in the middle and uh, I want to use it up. <laughs> then I've got two of the Iputsen, I think in Japanese. So this is a little letter paper. This one you've probably seen before. This is green on the inside as well and has two different patterns. Like the one on the front and this pattern this flower pattern this is ideal for putting in the weeks and the other is the summary style and this has two different two different styles yeah and it has a very faint vertical line because Usually in Japanese you would write your notes from top to bottom if you're including it like in a lunch pack or as a little thank you note. And these are summer themed so it has a little hanabi <laughs> and uh, goldfish and a sunflower and this is the furin. These are little bells that you can find in Japan and watermelon and a fan shaved ice and ramune lemonade so I found this really cute I think I've got this off Tokyo hands these are two notes pages from a notepad that I have again nothing in these card pockets this is a huge roll of masking tape by Maste. This is their writable masking tape and this is 15 or this was 15 meters of this faint faint blue grid. Hmm. Maybe we can try it like this. There we go. So it's a really faint blue grid. It's ideal for decoration. Um, this is my white Posca in a fine, I think. It's the 0.7 bullet shaped tip. And I don't know how I manage this, but each time I try to write with this, this uh, there's a whole lot of ink coming out and I always have to use some kind of um, extra paper. This is the very first stamp that I carved myself. It's just a little geometric pattern. And this is a little stamp that I got off of cute things from Japan. I think it's by Non Rara. So Non Lala. <laughs> and it's a very tiny stamp with little stars. Won't focus, but I think you've seen it. And back here, this, oh, there's lots of dog hair. These are uh, things that lived in my small size utility pouch by Delphonics for a very long time. And since this is like one of my pencil pouches and it lives up here 
I did not get around to using any of these stickers. Um, this is a page marker that I got only recently, but this lives in there quite nicely. Then I've got some stickers by Robin, who's Art Journal Girl here on YouTube and Instagram as well. Um, she gave up her sticker shop, which made me very sad. I uh, missed out on her last sale. And uh, now I have to keep these forever, I think. <laughs> problems. First world problems, right? Um, then I've got these little Fusan. So these are mini sticky notes in the speech bubbles and the stars that I also mainly use for decoration because you can only write on these with a Sharpie or the Zebra Maki Care pens that I've got. So you need a really oil based pen. And these are by the same brand. These are all by Midori. But these speech bubbles are mm, don't have the same coating, so you can write e more easily on them. What else have we got? This is a knitting theme sticker that I got off of Redbubble and more dog hair. <laughs> um, a Jetstream refill in a 0.38. I thought I had used up one of my Hobonichi pens, but then it turned out that I didn't. <laughs> so this will return to one of my pencil cases now. Then we have these Hobonichi. Ooh, the glare is really ugly right now, sorry. These Hobonichi uh, stickers. As you can see, I did not use very many of them. Um, these boxes, they fit in the original monthly view in this orientation, and but they also fit in this orientation into the weeks. Same goes for these. Other than you cannot really use the uh, island one <laughs> in this direction. And then there's some larger ones which say uh, things I bought today, uh, things I enjoyed eating today and this little thing which is also meant for the monthly view. These are the see-through bubble stickers that I got in 2017 when I ordered my very first Tobonichi and they still stick really nicely. Ever since I have them in this pouch, I started using them again. But as you can see, I use them. I use them a lot already. I think in 2018 on my weeks, but I've got another full sheet of stickers that I have not used yet. And this one is very cute. I think I've used it before in one of my journaling spreads. This is a sticky note that you are meant to fold at this line. So this line. And then you can stick it down and it looks as if the bunny is setting up. The fly is back. <laughs> back uh, annoying me. Um, yeah, there's nothing in this side of the card pockets again so I'm not really using the card pockets themselves but I think I could get around to using them at least for memo pages like this maybe in the bottom bottom pocket I've got uh, lots of uh, memo pads like really really small memo pads where I don't use them when I don't have the single pages lying around. So I think I'll start 
um, I'll start ripping them out again and hopefully then I'll start using it. Uh, the Ipozen was here and the Universal Calendar. So as you can see this one fits quite a lot and I'm in the end I'm really happy that I decided to use it now. I was getting really frustrated because I think it's really pretty but if you cannot find a use for it how how much can you um, I mean I cannot justify a purchase when I don't get around to use it right I don't know about you but I think that stuff has to be useful and not only pretty of course I cannot get everything back in right now but it will close anyway and all the little bits and pieces won't fall out if you have any questions um, please comment down below I'll uh, try to answer them as best I can I don't think I'll get around to um, linking all the different products some of them are not available anymore i got them from all kinds of different places so if you want to know about any of these in detail please comment down below as well and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more like this so thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you soon bye bye